Well, uh, Turk, uh, an intense hockey game got a little bit better over time, too. Yeah, it was good. I mean, it uh, wasn't perfect overall. I mean, Shusky was the key in the hockey game and a difference for us. But uh, he was outstanding tonight, and that's a good sign. I know you moved bodies around. Did you like what you saw after moving the bodies around? For the most part, yeah. In the third, it was a lot better, I thought, and until the last minute and a half when they had about four great chances. But uh, but overall, I thought it was a lot, little bit better. And it looked like your team came ready to play. Yeah, for the most part. Again, we played a better defensive game until late in the third when we gave them those scoring chances, you know, point blank, and Chesky was outstanding for us. But uh, played a solid game overall, and you knew Buffalo was going to come out tonight and play a real good solid game, and they did. What, do you, what did you think the issue was in the second period? It seemed like, you know, they just didn't have... <laughs> I don't know. It was a, I couldn't tell you. Honestly, it was just uh, things weren't moving, things weren't going, and, uh, you know... They had some good chances against us. They controlled the play, but uh, we got through it, and Chesky was the key, and it happens. I saw you had said yesterday that you didn't want to change the lines, but... but I'm going to start it. changing lines every period now, Colin. Trust me. I've done it for a year and a half, and we've had a pretty good team, right. and I'm tired of, you know, I'm going to do what's working. And uh, trade it. It worked tonight. And uh, maybe we'll try it again tomorrow. We'll see. You, you, you mentioned Igor, like the last two games, it's not just how well he's playing overall, but the timeliness of the mm -hmm. saves late in the third period, yeah. some of those saves he made. I mean, how, how uplifting is that for the group? No, it's um, unbelievable. But again, you know, late in the period like that, the 1-1 hockey game, to give those chances, it's not acceptable for a group. And uh, a lot of guys in there should be thankful Igor made those saves for them. Does, does it make it easier to make corrections when you're winning, or, or does that almost let them get away well, with it? Well, yeah, we've been making corrections and trying to get better. and. It's still, like I said, it was it was much better tonight. The, the rush chances again on that, but <laughs> late in the hockey game when the game's in the line, we uh, we sort of folded a little bit there, and that's not what we're supposed to be doing. You guys don't practice the four on three power play much, do you? Um, yeah, we do you four do? and three, five on yeah, three. Yeah. I mean, usually it's against you know against no no penalty killers, yeah. but uh, no, they practice it and they do more in video than they do on the, on the ice. So see, fewer rush chances tonight, but but you, I think so. I'll yeah. look at the video. Yeah, no, it looked that way, yeah. but, but obviously, you know, you guys only get the one goal on regulation. Mm -hmm. So is that okay with you to improve the defense if you're sacrificing? A little no, offense? I think I think we sacrifice too much offense. Uh -huh. But it wasn't like <laughs> that's what we how we wanted to play. Yeah. Nobody told them to stop and shooting pucks and getting yeah. pucks to the net and resetting pucks and getting their chances. But uh, sometimes, yeah, you know, you get that mindset. You want to be a little bit better defensively, and you don't press as much offensively. So. We know we won't be successful doing that. It's just a fine line in between that. That possession on the three-on-three three was pretty key. Yeah, no, definitely. Those guys possessed the puck real good, and uh, you know they drew a penalty, which was an obvious call. They had to call that, and uh, you know scored in the power play goal. So it was a real good. Uh, the boys were jumping, and they overcame.